Luna, jak się czujesz tuż przed pierwszym półfinałem Eurowizji z Twoim udziałem? Bardzo dobrze, jestem bardzo podekscytowana, no naprawdę nie mogę się doczekać. Jesteśmy także bardzo podekscytowani, czekamy na Twój występ, urywki nie zdradziły za dużo, prawda? Za dużo nie, ale już też troszeczkę zdradziłam, więc tak ja, ja chciałam zrobić takie zupełnie wejście z zera, żeby wszystko było niespodziewane, ale nie udało się, więc coś musiałam, coś musiałam pokazać, ale no mam nadzieję, że uda mi się przenieść w ten świat trochę baśniowy, trochę surrealistyczny, że uda mi się naprawdę opowiedzieć historię na tej scenie i każdy po prostu już będzie mógł gdzieś odnaleźć w tym siebie, w tej historii, w tej opowieści. Powiedz nam szybciutko, jak na Ciebie zagłosować z zagranicy, bo niestety z Polski nie możemy. Możemy głosować z zagranicy, do czego bardzo zachęcam. Numer 6 w pierwszym półfinale. Polska ma numer 6, także głosujcie i wspierajcie, żebyśmy byli w finale i dalej walczyli o zwycięstwo. Luna na szóstkę, The Tower na szóstkę Dokładnie. i na szóstkę wysłamy. Celująca ocena na szóstkę, głosujemy. Dziękuję Ci bardzo. Dzięki wielkie. How do you feel before Eurovision? What's your emotions right now? Well, I feel very excited. We are trying to uh, do the, our last improvements and I'm, we're rehearsing every day and we are excited about it. Now we're finally getting there and we've been working for months now and so it feels like this will never be over. <laughs> But uh, I, it's been a couple of days that I'm starting to enjoy every second of it. What can you say for Polish fans? I would like to say first of all thank you so much Poland because Poland has been a big supporter of me and Titan and we see that also in the stats of uh, our digital like where Titan is uh, streaming and uh, I will I'm gonna tell them that they they cannot vote for Luna Luna is a great singer and beautiful soul they can't vote for Luna so they better vote for me so please don't forget to the 9th of May Thank you. I love you very much. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Good luck. We love Titan. Okay. Hi, Natalia. Hello, guys. Please tell us uh, how Eurovision changed since 2007 and now. What's the differences? Oh, there are a lot of differences. Uh, actually, I don't like this question because all the people <laughs> ask me the same question. You, you can understand there are a lot of differences technologically, uh, vibrational, uh, emotionally. We a lot of uh, we, we changed a lot. I changed a lot. So um, important thing we are here right now, and this is the most important thing. So uh, for the Polish fans, please tell her, tell them. Uh, a few words, just from your heart. Polish? Yeah, to Poland. Hello Poland, I'm Natalia Barbu. And all I want to say and uh, send to you is my love and hope that you uh, really connect with the, my song in the middle because it's about us, about uh, reconnect with uh, our beautiful side, our and find this balance in the middle before dark side and light side because we all have these sides in us and it's normal but the most beautiful and important thing to find this happiness in the middle so thank you support me vote for me kisses how to pronounce your title of your song in which language in, in our spanish. language is in spanish in Spanish, 11, 11. And in Italian, eh, 11, 11. In Polish, is 11, 11. Could you repeat it? Momento, momento. 11, 11. No, 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 no. no. How it was your well, second uh, word? It's How slightly it different. They are the same numbers, and, and you pronounce it different. different one way. another. Why? What the fuck? Why? 11. <laughs> <laughs> 11, 11. But, but why? why? It's 11, 11. You know, you know, Polish is so hard, and <laughs> really, I don't know why, but it is. He's not the guilty one. 11, 11, Perfect. Okay. And please tell from the bottom of your heart to Polish fans some words. Um, some words. Whatever you want to say. Okay, 11, 11. The other way round, but it's okay. Okay, well, you know, you want to go to the other side. Vote for the other side. No, please. Vote for the other side. No, you know, you have to vote for us. No, you have to vote for the other side. Perfect. Vote for us. No, vote for us, please. We love you. We love you. Thank you for the support. 
how do you feel just before Eurovision? I feel very excited and just very happy right now. I'm trying not to be nervous, like actively trying not to be nervous. We've talked just after the ESCZ because we were there. Yeah. What changed after the press elections? Well, a lot of things changed. Firstly, the song itself has changed. <laughs> and uh, the staging, the people that I worked with, pretty much everything. Also, me as a person, hello. <laughs> uh, but it's been amazing and I'm really, really excited for your vision now. So please, now just for Polish fans, say whatever you want from the bottom of your heart. From the bottom. Hi. <laughs> hello. Thank you very much for all the love. I see the messages. It's also always really heartwarming. Um, vote number five on the 9th of May. Put yourself on a pedestal. How do you say pedestal in Polish? Uh, pedestal. Pedestal. So how would you say put yourself on a pedestal in Polish? Postaw się na piedestale. Postaw się na piedestale. Perfect. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>